everyone. And my name is Babu Kutala, Chief Data and Analytics uh, Officer for ABB. So ABB is a $26 billion uh, industrial manufacturer headquartered in uh, Zurich, Switzerland. We have over 105,000 employees and we operate over 100 countries and we are in business uh, over um, 130 years. Majorly, we have four business areas. Uh, we have uh, electrification division, which uh, we make uh, electrification products like circuit breakers, switches, etc., and uh, electro electrical vehicle chargers. Then we have a motors division where we make large motors and uh, other, other small motors, transformers, and uh, large motors. Then we have process automation. In other words, we do a lot of process automation for marines and mines and big, big factories and the sports arenas, etc. Then lastly, we have a robotics, which uh, we make uh, a robo industrial robots for uh, different types of factories, hospitals, etc. So we are a very complex business, as you can see. And in 2020, we initiated a major transformation which is decentralizing our organization to those four, four divisions with the primary focus is, okay, having a perform, scorecard-based performance ma management system to drive the business. And also, at the same time, we have different initiatives started. For example, how do we get a, a market leadership in some of the IoT and the digital value chain? and then how do we improve our portfolio? So our kind of the vision was, okay, how do we can make a data-driven business decisions? So in order to do that, as you can see, data is a primary focus. And so we thought the key thing what we need to have is a, a vision from a data perspective of what capabilities we need to enable, then having a, a robust architecture and the technology capabilities we need to enable this mission. So the key thing was, we, we don't want to see this as a, another reporting solution. So we need to really transform ABB to becoming a, a data-driven company. So we came up with, okay, there are several capabilities we need, things like a culture to data-driven decision-making, and also how do we transform our fuel, our transformation initiatives with the data, especially this IoT, remote asset monitoring space, and also, we also need to uberization of analytics, you know, how we make sure that the right data get the right person at the right time. We need to build a partner eco ecosystem. And more importantly, we need to have a data platform for tomorrow. As I mentioned, ABB is, is over 100 companies and we have a very, you know, we have fragmented landscape. We have over 32 uh, SAP systems around the globe to do our uh, business. And as, as each SAP system is linked with the BW, because that's the way to pull the data. So this is not helping us to build the, this future data needs or our uh, you know, current and the future needs to implement digital value chain, dynamic pricing, so several capabilities. So the data platform for tomorrow was building up a modern data platform is very critical. While we are doing this, we also need to make sure that we have the right data governance, data quality, then good thought leadership on data analytics space, having the design thinking capabilities, and then building the new analytical skill set. The last but we need to get into more data science and uh, uh, statistics, et cetera. So this was our kind of high-level capabilities we needed to transform a ABB into a data-driven company. So we, we were very focusing on saying that, look, this is not a technology project, building another technology platform. We need to do all these things holistically to make uh, ABB becoming a, a data-driven company. So from this angle, we created, okay, how, what does that mean to business? So we come with a kind of a pyramid approach, data to value. The key is we, ha we have strategic KPIs to drive our business, how business is executing. Then below that, you know, we will have our operational performance KPIs to making sure that the day-to-day -day operation, how this is being executed properly on a day-to-day basis. Then we need to have this advanced analytics capabilities, predictive analytics process mining to really understand what should be happening or what just happened. Then we have functional intelligence capabilities to manage our alerts, notification, uh, and exception-based reporting, et cetera. 
For this, the key thing is building that foundation uh, layer, which is the common data platform. That's where you know, we were focusing more on Click and uh, Snowflake. Uh, as you can see here, as a key thing is traceability. Be able to link from a strategic cap KPI all the way to our data produced in any of the SAP system. We, 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 during this journey, we thought many things, okay, what about to go for one ERP or a, so, but the challenge is that take longer to move all the 32 ERPs into one, one big ERP. And while we're doing this, there will be, we, we do another acquisition, which will bring couple more you know, SAP systems so, or the ERP. So we said, okay, you know what, the best way to do this is integrate the data you know, into a common platform, data platform, and uh, leverage plat you know, uh, this uh, platform as a service within the organization to support all these needs. So the key was, okay, how do we do this? We want to have uh, SAP. You know, that's one of the major, big, most of our business is done through SAP because we are an industrial manufacturer and it's a B2B. So we don't have that much direct uh, interaction with the consumer. Everything we do is through distributors or our customers are buying big, large products from us. So the goal was having all the data from SAP to one place, from concept to launch, uh, order to cash, purchase to pay, all these things has to be in a one common data platform. You should need to have an enterprise data model. And also we need real-time data. That is one of the other biggest demand we had was having access to an integrated data on a real-time basis, especially we are going to open up new channels uh, for our e-commerce and also for our the inventory availability, asset monitoring, and some of the new customer customers uh, facing capabilities, we need to have a real time access to the data. So we said, okay, here is our approach. We will build this common data lake, and from here, this will help us to simplify our landscape, which I mentioned. We have over uh, two dozens of uh, BW systems and various other custom data warehouses. This will help us to harmonize that, and also we can do more business led reporting. Then also having this value creation, which is enhanced analytical capabilities to really grow our, our market. So this was the whole goal for our data lake. And based on this, we come with our one philosophy was extract one and use many. So we don't want to go, and that was one of the biggest pain points we had. Every any applications, bolted application, those who want to connect SAP, we are copying the data over and over again. So here you need to make sure that we are only extract once and use it as many times. Then, you know, we, we need to bring it into data warehouse platform, which we want to be in a cloud-based uh, data, uh, data warehouse platform. The goal was the less techni technical team we need to have, the more business team we need to do, do more analysis and uh, supporting our advanced analytics capabilities. So our focus was not have too many technical resources uh, with the ADB when it comes to our data, data analytics capability. And also the platform is capable enough to support a raw reporting, which includes this forensic analysis, you know, process mining, et cetera, operational reporting, then performance reporting, and then advanced analytics capabilities. And the main objective here is transparency from top to bottom. We have to make sure that from the data from all the way from SAP transaction all the way to KPA, we need to have full traceability or a transparency. And also all the data, transparency of data, all the data in one place and integrating through master data architecture and will be the single source of truth. Then we'll have, you know, 100% configurable when you need it or as you need it and the use. We don't need to go through a heavy exercise of data extraction, data modeling requirement, etc. Once all this data ready, regardless of what the tools we are using, the business will be able to easily access to this data. And one of our my, our philosophy at in ABB, what we try to implement it as part of this data analytics is. Any reports we do has a end of life. So the agility is very fast. Unlike you know, building a application uh, or a user, user entry screen, that need to, uh, I mean, that will have a long life expectancy and the change is very hard. When it comes to data analytics, the business asks a question, 
Then after the the answer answer got the answer received for the question, the second that question is no longer relevant. They are asked a different question. So the speed and agility was a very important factor. So that's one of the reasons we said, okay, we will use uh, Click, Attunity, and Snowflake. One is this will be easy to con uh, you know, uh, construct the Snowflake side from the data warehouse. Then the Attunity is giving us this real-time data access from SAP to our ecosystem. So again, this backdrop, this is the kind of the high-level architecture we decided to uh, implement. Then we get into a little bit more specific one of the other goals when we build this is also we do not want to wait and you know a year to complete all this journey of all this process to get a value out of it so what we say what we decided is you know every every time when we move the data there will be a big business value coming out of this so this is a little bit our detailed architecture so here you can see we use this attunity replicate to bring the data into our uh, raw data lake, this is, uh, the, so this replicate is running literally in real time. So from this raw data lake, we do a lot of process analysis. We use the loan to do a lot of process mining and a lot of forensic analysis, you know, uh, to do some auditing, et cetera. From there, we move the data into a pre-process using, you know, clicks compose into a processed data lake. That's where we do a lot of uh, operational reporting, functional scorecards, alerts. Okay, what is your, you know, on-time delivery? You know, is it dropping? Or how is the inventory at the plant, at the, our RDC, et cetera? There, we transform this data into more like a business data lake. It's by data warehouse. It's more aggregated, harmonized, standardized. That's where we do a lot of the dashboard, scorecards, trends, variants, data exploration, etc. And all these information layer tools, we use Salones, uh, Clicks, our BI Tableau has access to all these data, you know, different type of data lakes within uh, our uh, platform. So then, apart from SAP data, we are also bringing data from uh, you know, our uh, IoT type of data. We're bringing some of, some of our devices in, in some of the machines we implemented within ABB factory, then a lot of third party that we also integrating from the competitor intelligence, market research, et cetera. So this is the kind of a uh, little bit uh, detailed, I would say, architecture. And the two tools we predominantly use for this is Attunity for the data extraction layer, and also the, you know, the data lake is Snowflake. And because of ABB, you know, as a globally, this is a large company, the way we build the, our architecture policy was logically one, physically multiple. So we build this architecture framework or a blueprint. Then we have three implementations. We have the same architecture. One, you know, one in here in uh, America's region, and other one is in European region, and the other one is in Asia Pacific. The reason we build this kind of data is it will give us that flexibility and this agility. If you want to operate within the region, number one, and the second also, some of the data privacy issues we can easily handle because we are not copying the data from one region to other region. So that also helps us that flexibility and uh, kind of the modular, kind of modular kind of you know, scalability also when we build new capabilities. So today, you know, in our platform, we have more, more real-time data as well as our analytics capabilities coming from one data platform ecosystem. So basically, we, we used this platform predominantly using as a data uh, Uberization. That's what I mentioned. And this was came as very handy while we are doing when we are with the COVID. One of the biggest challenges when we faced COVID was the reliability on the supply chain. So because we have all the data, raw data, and also we consolidated data in our data lake, we able to really focus on particular country, particular region, and assess the what is the COVID impact is. So we able to getting the data from third parties. Okay, what is the COVID exposure, and how do we are, how we are going to link with our supply chain? What are the you know what are the suppliers are being impacted by this? Or uh, what, what is the on-time delivery particular plant? We have a highest exposure in that area. So we, this is really helped us to build that, I would say, business resiliency and the responsiveness to the COVID. And also now you know, we are using these capabilities to build new products and uh, new products offerings. So one of the biggest things, the COVID is with a lot of, lot of demand for uh, uh, asset monitoring. 
and also for our, some of the warranty support, some of those things. This is a pandemic. We cannot send or the business, you know, or the customer really don't want our service technicians to come over there. So getting that visibility for the what is the repair part, how much is the inventory availability, and you know how we can manage this from a remote point of view. And this platform is also helped very well to do that. The next thing what we are doing is now from the pricing, how we can use more like a dynamic pricing, adding more data attributes and more data capabilities to to drive, to increase our profitability or uh, new price recommendations or new product recommendations to the customer. This platform is uh, contributing as platform, as a service. From here, basically, as I mentioned again, this was a, a a seven-month project. We started, we, we did a, a proof of concept in uh, 2019, September till November. Then we signed the contract, you know, and we kicked off the project in January. And so this is a kind of a little bit summary of what we have today. So this is our first fully cloud-based uh, data lake and data warehouse in ABB. And it is a big change, and we did it in, in the support of the business was great because in a 130 year old company uh, and educating on the cloud, that was a little challenge, but we kind of succeeded the challenge. We connected with the 30, 37 SAP system. The data is feeding to data lake every two minutes, 24 by 7, 365 days. We have an average 550 tables we extracting on this real time based from SAP. Some cases it's 600, 650, depend upon how much customization happens in SAP. There are so many Z tables that need that customization. But an average 550 tables from order to cash, demand to build, you know, uh, demand to build and record report after service in that ecosystem. We have data in our say in, in data lake available from 10 years to 20 years. The reason sometimes you are 10 years and sometimes you have to 20 years because of that is the history we have in SAP. So when we integrate, we pull the entire data set from SAP. So that's other thing. The data lake is the only place we have all the data from other than SAP from a historical perspective. And today we have over 63 terabytes of data and it's the keep growing. As, as I mentioned earlier, we are not retail having terabytes of data. We are an industrial manufacturer, but it's growing in a literally in a double fold. The largest table we have uh, in our data lake uh, is a controlling document item, which has over 2.3 billion records. We process 250 million records every day, which means you know, there are 250 million transactions happened in SAP is moved into in our data lake on a minute by minute basis. There are 7,000 common data attributes available for data analysis. And uh, the query response time is uh, in a two seconds from over uh, 80 million transactions. So this is the kind of a little bit summary of the outcome from our uh, that platform journey. And so we, we had a last two weeks ago, our CFO sent a message to the entire uh, ABB employee saying that, look, you know, these kind of platforms are now helping to make a process simplification for fast and strategic action. So this is the comment. He put it there. Like, you know, in the past, we have really wait sometimes once a month to get an order and revenue and uh, where we are now on a month-to-month -month basis. Now we have it on a daily basis and sometimes in a real-time basis from the divisional president to all the way to the sales force. So we have this plan to president model all the way from a president to all the way to a sales rep has a consistent view of the data through, through either through their laptops or iPads or mobile phones. So this is really helped to, we can act with speed and agility to address the gap in, we have in the market. So for, in, in summary, in a click, and uh, uh, Snowflake is really helped us to accelerate this journey along with the ABB. So this is a quick update on what we did. And that's all. Thank you.